as a center. Um, uh, most of your time as of late has kind of been on the wing with the Kings. If you do go back to the middle tonight, are there any changes that you have to kind of focus on in your game? Um, I mean, not really. I think it's just the D zone that pretty much changes with switching positions like that, but my game doesn't change, and I've had enough experience uh, in pro hockey at center that I can, can make it work. What did you like from your game um, earlier this week when you played with, with PL and Artie? Um, I mean, I didn't think that was that was my best game personally. I think I could have done more of that. So uh, looking to, to be a little bit better tonight, uh, different line mates, but um, just trying to kind of build one step at a time here and, you know, not being in a bunch of games. I think just the timing um, will come as, as more games come. Any specific you didn't like that you're trying to focus on with that in mind? Uh, just bobbled a few pucks, could have kept alive. And, uh, you know, there's there's a couple chances, but I definitely could have had more if just keep a couple more pucks alive. Watching this team and the way that you've been doing, what have you noticed just about the direction that they're moving in and how are you looking to kind of add to that um, if you come back and when do you come back in today? Yeah, I think just a really detailed team. And um, I think coming into that, you just, uh, you know, try to try to be the same way. Um, you know, watch a lot of hockey lately and try to stay sharp with that. So the details are important. And uh, I think we, we do a good job of frustrating teams. And, um, you know, I think I can just, just add to that with my tip game. I was going to ask just about the work that you do um, outside of the game. What have you been focusing on and who's kind of been like helping you the most just kind of keep those details sharp um, in practices and, and whatnot? Uh, well, it's just it's on you for the for the detail side, but um, DJ has helped a lot with just the the skates after if you're not playing and uh, getting getting realistic touches in, not just doing the, the old school bag skate, which helps a lot. But uh, at the end of the day, it's uh, it's on you to to stay diligent with the with the details, and that just comes from watching the games when, when you're not playing. You played a lot with Carl before, and everyone talks about Louis as being so steady and easy to play with. Um, what makes it easy to play with those two guys? Well, you just know what types of players they are. They they don't uh, they don't shift from that every night. They're they're consistent, and Louis's been doing it for a long time, and, and you know Carl's been around for for a while now too. So um, you know I've had some experience with, with Carl, and we've had some success in the past. So hopefully, build on that tonight. Yeah, when you look at your game, what are a couple of things that you try to accomplish each game? Like some guys will say, I need to get a couple of shots. I need to get a couple of hits or get pucks so out. What things do you focus on? Uh, shots for sure. Yeah, I think past couple of years been been focusing on that more. I think uh, you know can can look off some opportunities sometimes, and uh, so just focus on the shot first mentality, and uh, obviously the physical side of try to always um, you know be on the on the score sheet that way, and uh, I think that just gets you into the game. So those are probably the the two most important.